it was really great for me to not only represent West Virginia, but for me to represent the USA. One of the best parts about the rifle team is we kind of have an international flair, and it makes it really nice when you're going to international competitions, World Cups, Olympics, that you know people from other countries, and you kind of have that community that's all across the world. But for me, being able to actually represent the U.S. was very special. And I haven't driven in a month, by the way, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so we flew Rio to Houston with most of the shooting team, and then Houston to ended up being Reagan. After your freshman year of engineering, they take Biomed is capped at 40 students, so they rank you by GPA if you're applying, and then they take the top 40 students sorry, into the sophomore year, and now they're in the biomedical program. So I got accepted at the end of last semester. Set and someone says, Dan and Ginny, can we get a picture of you two together? And they go to take a picture, and then like 20 people come up to take pictures. I'm like, look, Dan, you're almost famous now. <laughs> and apparently, <laughs> he is famous. <laughs> I did a lot of NBC stuff, did a few press conferences. I did the Today Show. I did Sports Center with Zubin or something. Apparently, he's famous too. Um, I did ABC Nightly News. I knew that I was going to shoot the best I could and try my best to get into finals and once you get into finals anything can happen and that's when you really have to just bring the motivation and have that singular focus in that moment. Olympic shooting, there's three different disciplines, right? Okay. So there's shotgun, rifle, and pistol. Okay. So shotgun has, you can go pro in shotgun. Okay. You, there are sponsors, most of them are in living. industry, but you can make a living, yes. Um, rifle, it's, ve it's very hard to go pro. Our NCAA system is so good that a lot of our great athletes are in or have competed in the NCAA. Whereas shotgun doesn't have an NCAA. And then pistol kind of got the short end of the stick. They have neither. They have neither. <laughs> so that's so that's where it comes from. But at the same time, you know, if you're you're not gonna make any money, but if you're good enough, everything will be paid for. Okay. So but you're not gonna make any money. So I'm of course trying to marry rich so that you know. <laughs> that way it's all taken care of. Oh, perfect. We're not like, go, go, go. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, guys.
I think Ginny's going to be really ready to just do exactly that and be a regular student athlete again. I think it's her place to be normal, it's her comfort zone. Um, I know the team members aren't going to treat her any differently. I know she doesn't want to be treated any differently. I certainly won't treat her any differently. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of things are going to fall back into place. Um, sure, she's going to have extra demands on her and her schedule and we'll have to be very careful to, to manage her certainly throughout the first semester to really get back into the swing of things. Life for her is going to change a little bit. Um, being an Olympic champion, that's always going to be there. So she's maybe going to have to work even harder to manage the mental aspect of the, of the sport. Virginia, and thank you for coming out here and supporting us today.